game to really, really look at them closely. Did you have any idea Nick Foles is in the biggest You know, I see him on TV, and, and uh, since we played him next year, you kind of have your ears kind of perk up a little bit when you're watching him because you know you're going to face him down the road. And, uh, I, uh, I knew he was a big guy. It's three times. You're going to face him three times in about 15 years. You mentioned that the other day. That's amazing. Yeah, it's like a minute. Yeah. That's, that's crazy. How well do you know Mike Stu? I know him a little bit. You know, I have a lot of respect for him. I used to go visit Oklahoma and, uh, and all that. And, and, and we copied a bunch of stuff that, that he did when he was at Kansas State. And, uh, I love the defense schemes that they run in Oklahoma, too. Coach is Sean Lewis. You know, he has just been an unbelievable. For a freshman, for him to step up there and play the way he had, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's really uh, you know, unusual to see that happen. And even in bowl practice, you can see him taking the next step from a leadership standpoint. He's really been in the conference. That's what I was wondering about. Is if, if he still seems like a freshman who happens to be playing well, or if he's really kind of he's moving on. He really is. He's moving on to that next level, and we hope that continues. Coach, what has been you and just the rest of the coaching staff's reaction to what's going on with Coach Holgerson? Well, you know, we're extremely happy for him. Obviously, being a head football coach uh, is, is a great thing. Uh, you know, to, uh, we're disappointed, obviously, that he's leaving. Coach done such a good job for us. Coach, what was your perspective on the field that the uh, Roderick to Lewis play? Where would where were you, where'd that occur relative to where oh, you were uh, at? I'm, I'm sorry, I had to go back in my memory banks there. I, was, I didn't know if it was uh, when you said that, Broderick. I didn't know what was happening. But, I had to play there. Uh, yeah, it, that, was, uh, that was unbelievable. I mean, you had to take it and, and look at it. We all turned around and looked at each other and looked up at the, uh, in the jumbo trying just to figure out what happened. You know, But, I mean, that was such a heads-up play. I don't know that I've ever seen anything like that before. I mean, to have that kind of... Uh, you know, instincts or whatever it was, to back the ball back in down to one of your teammates. So you weren't sure what you'd seen as it happened? No, I really wasn't. I, wasn't. I had and a better I, a, a angle than you did, and yeah. I wasn't sure what I'd seen. And uh, then we looked up and saw it on the jumper. Wow, that's amazing. So and now then we saw it on tape. Me. No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We saw it on tape, and I thought, God, man, that, that's unbelievable. Not just the presence of mine to do it, but he's about this high. Oh, yeah, I mean, you're talking about extending himself and up there and playing it too. Using both hands and bat it back in, look like a volleyball player. So, so now that you just add that to your practice routine, right? You just try and teach that to everybody. Yeah, okay, that, we, we worked on that the week before. <laughs> <laughs> that's the new tip drill. Oh yeah, it's a new tip drill, right?